Hello, meow fans. My name is Agata, but you can know me as Kui Coco. As you can see, or maybe as you can tell or hear, this channel was all in Polish because I'm from Poland. But uh, I have a lot of comments that you asking me if I can make some tutorial in English because you don't understand what I say in Polish. So here we are. For this tutorial I'm choosing a loom beading because it's really simple and really fast to learn. So we can just start. If you want you can just hit the subtitles button and you can read what I say. Yeah, that's, that's right, just click there. So we can go to the materials. So for the materials I will use uh, Toho bead size 11 in this color. You can of course use uh, what kind of color you want. And for the base I will use this kind of thread. This is actually a thread uh, to sew a jeans. It's uh, 13 text. I will use white color. For the waving I will use as long thread for beading. And also I will need a really really long needle and this is actually a big eye needle but you can use any kind of needle you want. Of course you need to remember that this kind of needle need to fit into our beads so it needs to be needle for beading. And of course you need to buy a bead loom of course you can make one for your own but i'm using this metal one it's actually really popular and you can buy it online just type in the search bead loom so you will find this one and this one is from beadsmith i have one more it, but this is really cheap so i will show you how to start your work today we are going to make a bracelet so at first you need to figure that out how many beads you will use. I will using 12 in this tutorial, but you can use how many do you want. And now if I'm going to use 12 beads, I need to put 13 this thread on my bead loom. So it's actually really easy to remember because you put one thread more that beads you are going to use. So if you want to use three beads, you need to uh, put four thread. So you just need to take your thread and cut some pieces. And this is actually really easy. Now I'm just going to use four pieces of my thread and uh, I will start from this one from the right. And as you can see, I have something here. It's just like, I have no how to call it. So something. And I just tie a simple knot, really simple. For sure, I will making two. And now I need to separate my thread between all this Oh, okay, between something like this. So when I going to the next end of my bead loom, I need to make something the same. So I just separate my thread here and I'm going to tie a knot here. And you need to make this one really really hard because this thread needs to be really tight so your work will look smooth in the end so now i'm just making this straight and i just going to make something like this and just make two simple knot one and two this uh, you just make knot just like this one when you tie your shoes and now I have 
four thread on my bit long so I will using just three bits if you want to use more you just need to make more thread and this also we can go to the tutorial as you can see one thread going are going between one this space and in the end you are making something similar and the thread is really tight so it will help while we waving the beads okay so the beginning is actually really easy you need to take your needle with your thread it's about one meter thread and for the first thread in this base uh, from, from left if you are right-handed like me we need to tie a little knot just to secure this thread okay I will make two knots just for safe so as you can see I just tied a little knot right here in my left thread and I have 12 beads on my basic thread and I just take my needle put her under like this and I need to slide my beads next to the basic thread like this one and now I just take my needle and now I will pick my beads from the under, from the top. And you need to focus because one beads belong to one space between thread. So my needle, one again, goes under and now in this step it will go up on the top. So I just take my needle and pick one bead from the one space so this two this one and the first step is actually really tricky and sometimes you need to help yourself with second hand with my left hand and I will go again just to the end of this row in next row it will be much easier okay and to last this one okay and when you have this I as you can see I just have my basic thread and I put it in Polish we say naciągać really hard and then I just take my needle and pull the thread out like this okay. and this is my first row see that okay and the second row is actually the same so I have 12 beads my needle goes under the base and in the next row you can see right now I can help myself using my left fingers so I just put the beads between the space and using my finger from the left hand I just put them up so this time I just use my needle and by sewing to the top I can pick them in just one move like this Yeah. 
it looks really nice and as you can see from the first row I have some space here but now I don't have it so don't worry about this and from now I just going up and make the same steps uh, just to the end so see you in a few minutes as you can tell my bracelet is almost ready it's about 13 centimeters long so now i will just make the last row and i make it just like every other row so i just pick 12 beads and my needle with my thread and my bead are going under the bracelet and I need to pop my beads up just like the first time one bead going between the thread between the spaces and now I'm taking my needle and sewing the beads under the basic thread it's really important to you that your needle needs to sew only the beads, not the thread that it's on the loom. And yeah, this is my last row. And now I will show you how to end and hide the thread. So I just take my needle and now I'm sewing to the beads. And if you need to make the beads look better because you know sometimes the beads are going up or down so you can just take your hand and slide them down like this so that's really easy so now I'm taking my needle and I'm sewing to the beads in the row that is under the first and make this one or two times more just to make sure that the thread is really safe and now I can just cut the thread out and you do the same with the thread at the beginning so I just tied off the knot and doing exactly the same so I just sewing the thread through my beads And now I will show you how to make the endings. So for this bracelet I will using clasps like this. I just checking in the size are good. And uh, in this method this is actually really simple. I take the clue. I'm using the Hasulit from Knoipiandel. It's a jewelry glue. And I just doing something like this so I put a lot of glue near to my beads but more on the thread from the both sides okay and just leave it for a minute or two and when I have this I just took my scissors and cut the thread out from the both sides of course and now I'm taking my clasp and I'm just going to glue them inside just a little bit of glue and when your thread is too long just cut them out glue actually secure all of your work and I'm just put my clasps on And just close it with this tool you need to make this one really slow and really careful 
Of course you do it in the both sides. And when you have this, you can just put what kind of endings you want. I will use something like this. This is a magnetic endings. And that's all. That's your bracelet. It looks just like this. As you can see, the loom beading was actually really easy and you can make some awesome jewelry like uh, bracelets or belts or anything you want. If you like this tutorial just give me a big thumbs up and I will know that you want me to make some more tutorial in English. So if you don't subscribe this channel you just can subscribe it now so please do this because in this channel I have more other tutorials from handmade beading and really soon I have some tutorials in crochet. And please uh, write me in the comment section below what do you want to learn next time? From beading or jewelry making or maybe from crochet. And maybe you don't know but I am from Poland so please write me in the comment uh, where are you from? I am really curious. So uh, yeah, th that's all. See you next time. Bye. Bye bye, my friends.